What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach with Android Digest and today I'm going to be reviewing an Android tablet and that is the Lenovo Yoga Tab 13. I saw this tablet on eBay directly from Lenovo. They were selling it under $400. In fact, I got it for $370. So I thought I would pick this tablet up, review it for you and let you know my thoughts. So with all that being said, let's get right into it. Okay, so there's a couple things that make this tablet really, really interesting. First off, you have this right here. This is a really nice durable metal hinge that actually holds up your tablet. So I could actually carry it around like a briefcase. That is one of the coolest things whenever I'm traveling around. I don't feel like I need a laptop bag. If I want to watch a movie or if I'm doing something on the go, boom, I have a kickstand that is just built in to the device. If I want to go in the kitchen, if you just hang up a little nail in the kitchen, you could watch a movie and just put this right on the nail. It should be able to hold it up just fine if you get something durable enough. So that's a really, really big deal. That is just a very nice thing that makes this tablet very unique. And if I compare it with other tablets on the market, that's just one of the things that makes this tablet a little more friendly to use on the day to day. Another thing that I love about this tablet is that this tablet has a micro HDMI port. This could actually work as a monitor for other devices, or you could use it as a secondary monitor in your computer setup. Again, as long as you hook it up with a wire. And if you're trying to use your Nintendo Switch, for example, and you need a monitor, this could be a nice monitor to use on the go. So there's a unique utility to this tablet that most tablets out there just don't have. And if you're someone who could really use that micro HDMI port, or if you're someone who really thinks you're going to use this kickstand, that's a huge deal. And that's one big reason you need to consider this tablet. But let's say you don't use those things, right? Let's say you're just looking for a good Android tablet. Tablet. This tablet in its own right, when you see that it's on sale for such a low price, if you see this tablet under $400, there's still a ton of reasons to buy this tablet. And one reason why you would consider this tablet is the design. Of course, we've talked about this kickstand. I think pretty much anyone could really use that. It's a really cool feature. And we talked about this micro HDMI port, but this does charge with USB-C on the other side. You do have your power button, your up and down on your volume, and you do see speakers right here. Now this tablet, I will say, this has some of the best speakers I've heard on any tablet. I would even argue the speakers are better than the Tab S8 Plus. So this tablet right here, if you're watching media, the speakers are incredible. They're super loud. I don't know if I've heard another tablet with better speakers. Now the back of this tablet, I will say there's this fabric on the back. This fabric is not dust resistant. I've seen devices like the Chromebook Duet that have this really nice fabric that's very dust resistant. Well, this fabric right here, I'm telling you, it just feels like a fabric that's going to catch things like dust very easily. But outside of that, I really do like the design. No headphone jack, no fingerprint sensor, no SD card slot, and face recognition, I don't think it works in all lighting conditions. But if you're in good lighting, face on lock will work pretty good. But I think honestly, the design, I know the kickstand is an awesome thing on the design. It's really cool. I think the ports are really, really cool. But outside of that, I know the design isn't super flashy in other ways. But when you look at the display and when you look at performance, those are two things that really impress me. Now this screen is not OLED, but it really doesn't matter in my opinion, because if you look at the display itself, it has a gorgeous resolution. The screen looks really crisp and clear. The colors look great on this device. This has a 13 inch screen with a 2160 by 1350 resolution. Now the screen should get about to 400 nits of brightness. So it's not the brightest tablet out there, but it is still pretty bright. I think it's bright enough for most conditions. And mainly I just just have to say again, the screen looks really good, especially for the price. And if you look at tablets around $400 or less, I just don't think you're going to find a much better screen. Now, admittedly, it does have a 60 hertz refresh rate. So if you are trying to compare this to the newer Galaxy tablets, it won't have a 120 hertz refresh rate. But despite that, I still think this is a really nice display and it's really, really enjoyable.
enjoyable. And the one other thing I was impressed with was the performance on this tablet. This does have a Snapdragon 870 processor and 8 gigabytes of RAM. So I know the Snapdragon 870, it's not a Snapdragon 888. It doesn't have that flagship chip that was from the flagship year of phones, but the Snapdragon 870 is right there as far as performance. I was getting flagship level performance. I was able to play games on very high settings. I was also able to, again, go through my day-to-day -day stuff, go through scrolling the news, go between apps. I was able to game. I was able to do whatever I needed to do. And I did not have a lot of hiccups on this device. So this device has a lot going for it, including the great battery life. This device does have a 10,200 milliamp battery. And you just need to know that the battery is very, very large. If you do compare this device to other tablets, you're going to find that this tablet is going to have some of the best battery life out of any Android tablet. Performance is great. The screen looks very good, but there are just minor compromises across the scale when you're looking at this device. First off, if you look at the display, again, it's a minor compromise not to have 120 hertz on the screen or not to have 90 hertz. If you look at the performance, again, a very minor compromise not to have a Snapdragon 888 because at least you do have that flagship level performance. But if you look at the software, that's one other place that you're going to compromise with this device because this device does have Android 12, which is great news. But Lenovo is not known for great software support. So do I expect Android 13? Maybe but am I gonna get Android 14? No, honestly, I wouldn't even expect Android 13. Typically, Lenovo will give you about one software update with their tablets. I don't expect much more software support with this tablet. And there's another thing with software that we do need to consider. Lenovo isn't quite as good as Samsung as far as their software. So I was noticing a little bit of an odd software glitch. If I was going to Google Chrome, if I did actually close it out, and if I quickly pulled up my apps, I did notice that the apps which is just disappear randomly. It was something that was a little bit annoying to deal with. Now it's really easy to fix. You just scroll down and scroll back up and it really works just fine. But outside of that, I was having a good experience with the software. I was able to quickly go between apps. Everything worked great. So the performance on this device is really, really good. The software is really, really basic. I know they have a few extra apps that they throw on the device, a little bit of extra bloatware, but you can uninstall a lot of that stuff. And I love how Lenovo gives you a very basic Android experience. And overall, I love their software. I just wish that they did give it a little more polish and I really wish that they gave a little longer supports. But we have to keep our expectations in check and remember the price of this tablet. If you see this tablet for 650 bucks or 680 bucks, that's where this tablet retailed at. It was a very high price. But if you look at this device and it's on sale, if you look at it, whether it's on Lenovo's website, if you see the Best Buy, or eBay or wherever you're looking. If you see this device for $400 or less, that's really when we really need to think about what you're getting. Now, when we're looking at this tablet, I understand there are some compromises with it, but we have to remember to reset our expectations. This tablet, it has a really cool kickstand that you're not gonna get in a lot of devices. It also has a micro HDMI port. And if you compare this with something like the Tab S7 FE, that device is gonna be a similar size. The display will be very, very similar. It's going to have a similar resolution. It will also have a 60 hertz refresh rate. And again, I think that tablet will be a very similar price if you're looking on different websites. But that tablet will not have this kickstand right here built into the device. That tablet will not have this micro HDMI port. And the Tab S7 FE will not have speakers that are as good as this tablet. Now the Tab S7 FE, I think the software support will be a little bit better on that tablet. So there are some reasons to get the Samsung. But here's my point. This is a good value for the Android world. This is a good value if you find it under $400. And that's why I wanted to review this device. You're really getting flagship performance or right under flagship performance. You're getting a great display. It might not be OLED, but it's right under OLED. So this device is right under a flagship tablet. And honestly, if I were thinking about how much this tablet's worth, it's probably worth 500 bucks, at least in the world of Android. But when you see this tablet on sale for like 
like 370 bucks or when you see it on sale for 400 bucks. I think this tablet is a tremendous value. And if you're someone out there who's looking for a good value, you're looking for a tablet with a lot of utility. This tablet has a lot more utility than a lot of other tablets. And even if you don't, even if you don't care about that micro HDMI port, this tablet still has very good performance. It has a very good display. It has a lot of great things going for it. And the speakers I'm telling you are so, so good. And as long as you're okay with the compromises that I've mentioned, I would highly recommend this tablet. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please give me a like to this video and give me a sub to my channel. Those things would mean a lot to me. You could also use the links in the description. Some of those might be affiliate links. And if you do use those, those do help my channel quite a bit. They help to support me. And also, if you have any questions, leave a comment and check out some other videos if you get any more time. I hope you have a tremendous day and a tremendous week. Thank you.